hello how are you i hope you are doing well so again today's lesson is paper 2017 but we will start today ss2 this ss1 we have finished uh, before previous lesson we have finished ss1 today's our lesson is ss2 so sort the payments so it means same payment file we will use sort the payments worksheet in alphabetical order of first name within alphabetical order of last name so open excel sheet this is a payment in excel when you sort this is known as sort payments in alphabetical order of first name within alphabetical order of last name this is known as nesting sorting nesting because two fields they are asking okay in excess we have done in the same order we will select uh, sort first and then we will sort last but in excel it is different we will select first last one second column and then first column within first and this one second okay so go to excel so for excel you have to select the data please don't select the headings select data go to the sort if this value is checked unchecked please hit this one okay i think some mistake is there again it is selected okay sort column first name what is the last name this one column b so select column b then add level what is the next sort first name within the last name so you will select last name first and first name second then by first name so first name is column a so that's okay yes so this is the required result Format the worksheet so that column I, J, K, and L have suitable labels. Currency values show the currency symbol with no decimal places. All the data is visible. The presentation is improved. So see, you have to do all these with carefully. Column I, J, K, and F. See, we have set the labels. I, we gave total. This we gave average. This balance. Uh, this was the mistake in first uh, work uh, ss1 we gave remarks it should be remainder reminder please correct it it should be reminder okay and then currency values these are the payments so from jan to balance we will select and not mentioned which currency value so you can set any so we will set go here home and select uh, pound so see these these are these are this is the currency up to zero so you can increase and decrease from here see zero pounds up to zero decimal places okay and see this value is not visible so enlarge the column here so this is big so bring it till here okay so this one still some space is there okay so this one so proper headings we gave currency sign we we have set currency sign up to zero decimal places and then all data is visible yes perfect all data is visible okay set this also bold and increase the font size this also bold increase the font size and this should be in the center perfect now what is the last point the presentation is improved yes everything is okay so fourth also covered enter task ss2 your name candidate number the same in and save as ss2 print the payments worksheet on a4 side of a4 showing up that showing the data so this one go to insert you will go to the header footer 
okay bring down here we have now before we did this it ss1 now it is ss2 ss2 name and you will type the name and uh, candidate number and center number okay and now control p to see the preview so this is the preview and please check this area page one of one okay if one of two then you have to fix it on one of one otherwise two pages will be printed okay if data is more then you go here and turn on the margins and see you can bring it here left side and bring this here to the right side for example you want to uh, leave more space from left side because printer takes some space so move this line to the right and this from top you want to for example more data is here now 23 records for example 30 records are there so move this line up and this line down to make more space and this line also you can move up to make it more space see so this one then select the printer and print this document okay so this is task ss1 so this we have completed task ss2 okay there is a second part for ss2 ss2c is there open a new document using word processing software enter task ss2c your name candidate number center number and save it as a task ss2c so now we'll open word processing okay go to insert open footer select this task ss to see name Muhammad roll number zero three center number nine triple zero five close the header and save this file save it as a in your folder where we are saving the results okay so we will go to here we are saving so we will give the name task ss2c save the file so we have saved the file this now part c display the data view of the payments worksheet on the screen paste the screenshot of the worksheet into the document task ss2c identify one formatting feature you have used to improve the presentation of the worksheet describe how this formatting feature improves the presentation so two points are there for number part c okay so this is the payments now we'll take the screenshot of this and paste in ss2 ss2c so decrease the margins okay decrease the margins okay so we have pasted the result here so just crop this data area only so go to format and crop till here and please don't uh, crop this uh, row size row number okay you can crop no issue so because they want data here so see it is not movable so go to format again and uh, click here go to the format and check click on position and select anyone now it is movable right enlarge it so that it should be visible see like this that's enough okay now so features which features we have used you can say borders you can say 
heading shading we have set the shading yes see shading okay and then you can say alignment we have set the alignment also see for the data which alignment we have set central alignment we have set so these three features we have applied to make it uh, give it uh, give this worksheet a professional touch make it uh, pro uh, you know uh, well uh, well presented and we me to make the data visible okay and readable this is part c of ss2 now ss2 task is completed now task ss3 open the box worksheet learning wants a chart to show the distance of the box create a suitable chart it must have a suitable title and access labels be fit for the purpose be on a separate worksheet enter task ss3 your name candidate number center number in the footer of the chart save the spreadsheet as a task ss3 print the chart to fill one side of a4 okay so you will open worksheet box is here okay this is the box and go to they did uh, you know in the paper it is not mentioned open a word processing document you will do here in excel okay so go to insert and so this footer we will enter here task ss3 task ss3 name ahmed but we enter in this paper muhammad roll number 04 and 9005 this is a center number so this is our sheet now next learning wants a chart have a suitable access be fit for the purpose be on a separate worksheet enter the task ss3 your name candidate number center number in this okay go here now which field we will add in the chart they said distance and walk or name so select field column name walk name then press hold control key and then select this distance so these columns you have to select insert and charts see this is a chart okay so this one and bring it here on a separate they said bring it on a separate sheet so now select this now go to the quick layout and select this one we want the title we want the x-axis we want the distance and we want the this x-axis and y-axis what should be here these are the name of the box box and what is this this is distance okay and what is this title distance of each walker it is mentioned in the paper distances of the walk mean for each so go here click here and change the title distance of the each walk okay so this is separate sheet this is separate sheet so you can enlarge it also to make it more visible and bring it stretch it down also now see this is okay now okay 
now press control p this is page 1 and this is page 2 we want to print this worksheet this is task ss 3 okay so i think everything is clear now okay so we have finished all tasks of spreadsheet ss1 ss2 and ss3 please share with others and subscribe our channel as well thank you very much